What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at Hugo Lloris, the 88 rated Spurs keeper. He's coming in at around about 36 on the Xbox to 39 on the PlayStation and is the fourth highest keeper in the Premier League, obviously being outdone by Alisson, Edison, who's actually the same, and De Gea. So, who's better? Lloris is obviously the cheapest at the minute. Ederson, I believe, is going for a little bit more. Allison, a little bit more than that. And De Gea, that just a little bit more than that as well. Um, Stats-wise, 65 speed, which on a keeper is actually quite nice. He then has 89 diving, 91 reflex, 82 handling, 68 kicking, which is a little bit lower than most, and 84 positioning. So overall, not a bad stat keeper, to be honest. He is six foot two and he is left footed just to throw that out there. Keepers at the minute are becoming a little bit of an issue. They all make the same mistakes at this moment in time. And that is the main thing is the rebounds. That, to be honest, is hopefully being patched out today, I believe, when this video goes out. And also, whenever they want to catch the ball, they don't catch the ball. They punch the ball. And I don't understand that. And then the only thing as well that I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, whenever the keeper necessarily is coming out and can kind of have time to hold the ball, they just boot it wherever. They just boot it out to the sidelines. I do agree with them booting it out to the, to the sidelines, but even when there's plenty of room, they just smash it. And to, uh, for me, I don't like that. It's not a, a Lorries thing, but... And look at that for an assist. First keeper to actually get me assist in FIFA 20, so that's always fantastic. But in general, is a solid keeper. For 34k, to get an 88 rated keeper, that isn't terrible. Especially in the Prem, with his link ability. I think that is definitely really good. I think one-on-ones, he's quite good because of his reflexes. I found that he was making silly mistakes. Necessarily, he was punching a lot as well. I didn't find him to hold a lot of the balls. But I think, again, that can be kind of a FIFA 20 thing at this moment in time. Hopefully, with the patches, the keepers can get a little bit better in catching the ball i think that is the main thing because they're just pushing it everywhere and i don't think that's a larice issue i think that in general is a keeper issue but in general i was quite happy with him i think he's still in my team now so i am still happy with him personally he is better than pickford and schmeichel but i don't think he's better than edison allison or De Gea in this instance six out of ten for value for coins i think He's more than likely going to drop to like a 20k keeper before before we know it, to be honest. 7 out of 10 for foot champs because he would work well in a foot champs team. And especially at the start of the game, I think he definitely would do quite well in foot champs this weekend as well. Overall, I'm giving him a 7 out of 10. I think he is a good keeper. Is he the best keeper? Probably not. I've played with Van der Sar, who is probably the best keeper I've played with so far. De Gea is definitely coming up very close there. Allison is all right. I think he is up there, but there's some things that I, I played with him and didn't really like. But that could have been a kind of getting used to the game as it was very, very early on. Um, and apart from that, I like Oblak. To Stegen seems quite nice. Neto is another decent one, especially for how much he actually is, but obviously is a lower rated. And there's a few other keepers that obviously we can go ahead and use. Neuer is another one who will be getting a review very, very soon. So we're going to have like a good amount of keepers to kind of tell you who the, the best one should be. Personally, at the minute, Van der Sar is my favorite, but I'm not going near icons as of yet because prices are going so ridiculous. So we'll wait and see, but Loris... If you want to pick him up for a French team, I think he's outstanding as a French keeper. And in general for the BPL, if you've not got the money to pay for De Gea, I'd, I'd probably rate him, to be honest. Apart from that, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think. Um, make sure you subscribe for more content if you enjoy. And bell button on, because we will be streaming very, very soon and this weekend, as well as the first few games of my foot champs, or at least the second half of my foot champs, to say the least. And apart from that... I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.